today we're going to talk about uh, B2B leads um, and whether or not you can produce them and sell them on a paper. For those of you who don't know who we are, we're um, a lead generation agency and we supply leads, um, well, we've got three agencies now, one in Asia, one in the UK and one in Canada and we sell leads to business owners on a pay per lead basis um, and that's predominantly what this business is about. We generate the for X from places like Facebook and we sell them for hopefully at least 2X um, to clients who can still monetize those leads at that price. Um, and today I had a, a call with someone that was looking to join our program and he was um, uh, working, I think he, he ran a business and he was recruiting for uh, cloud IT recruitment for um, you know cloud software type companies okay which is very very specific and I had to end the call very quickly because I couldn't help him okay finding these type of leads for those type of businesses I IT cloud computing is just really difficult because it's like finding a needle in a haystack. And then I was speaking to my content team just then and they said another question has come up in one of our groups saying, you know, can you do pay per lead in um, B2B? And the answer is yes, you can do it and you can do it very, very profitably and at scale, but the size of the audience is most important, okay? Because you want to have an offer that appeals to you know, the majority of the business owners in the UK. I, I probably should have prepared beforehand, but I, I suspect there's, you know, many millions of business owners, um, probably two or three million business owners. It wouldn't surprise me. So there is a huge audience to advertise to, but the product you are um, trying to sell to them needs to be a broad offering, okay? It can't be like finding that needle in a haystack I just spoke to you about before. Um, so, the other thing is the offer needs to be pretty, what I call sexy, right? It can't be, you know, bookkeeping services or something like that because although everyone kind of needs it, it's not really a great hook for, um, for advertising copy, okay? And it's really hard to sell kind of a boring product like that. So to give you an example of a better market, some of our students are in, um, uh, you know, a business tax, efficiencies. So in America, there's companies out there that will reduce your tax bill by, you know, up to 75% in a very, in a very efficient way, which is legal. Okay. And not many people know about this. They might have a hundred thousand US dollar tax bill to pay through their business, but they can use some of that money to um, invest in other stuff or, you know, whatever. And people don't know that this is available to them. So when they see an ad, on Facebook or on LinkedIn or wherever, then it's very it's a very sexy offer and it appeals to them and it's a broad offer. Okay, a lot of people can benefit benefit from this. So that's an example of a B two B niche, which is great for lead generation. And the fees that come off the back of something like that are astronomical as well, which um, brings me to the um, bottom point, which is you can charge more per lead. So there's going to be less leads available but you're looking you know, towards 100 bucks per lead or, or more in some cases, um, depending on how, how valuable they are. So it's gonna be harder to do 500 leads a week at 20 bucks, but you can do 100 leads at 100 bucks. It's the same amount, less work, and can actually be more profitable. Um, and my last point, well, it's the second last point here, is that the, the average order value and your cost per lead generally takes care of itself because with B2B, it's usual, you know, it's not a consumer-based product and the businesses usually have more money. So um, the fees associated with some of these companies that charge businesses are much higher. So you can actually charge more per lead, which is what I was just explaining about down here. So it's not so much about the average order value. There's usually a lot of fat in the um, amount of profit in those leads. It's more about the size of the audience and choosing a sexy offer. Um, so I hope that makes sense. If you're watching this video and you'd like to know more about how we built our, our um, pay per lead agencies and the model that we use, then there's a link below this video. It's a free case study, watch it and enjoy.